Hey y'all, good morning. I am about to go run and get my tags on my car renewed. So just have to go to the grocery store, which also conveniently has a Starbucks inside of it. <laughs> so guess what I'm gonna get? Yeah, I'm gonna get a hot chocolate, but I'm wearing that black blousy top. So this is what I would call blousy because it's just kind of like, it's yeah, the material and it's just, you know, bigger or whatever. Anyway, I'm also wearing the jeans that I cut off myself and some maroon flats. My cats are fighting underneath the bed. Now they're coming out and my eyes are watering a little bit, but I think my makeup looks okay. And that's all I have planned for Lee for today. Oh, wait, that, I'm, I'm lying. If you watch my Instagram stories, you know, but by the time you watch this, this would have been gone from my Instagram stories. So I'll tell you guys here, Michael Young, former Texas Ranger, not the peace officer kind, the baseball kind, baseball, baseball kind. He, um, he's going to be, I think he was number 10. If I remember correctly. And anyway, he's going to be at Waterburger on Townies Boulevard from I think 1030 to 1130. And the first 225 people get a an autograph, which I don't really care about, but maybe I'll get one for my sister if she's not going because she is a baseball fan. So she might appreciate that. I don't know. Just depends on where I am at that time because it is now 917. So I'm probably not going to make it. Um, I might like go get my hot chocolate, get my tags done, and then swing by and see what's happening. And if it's a really long line, I'll go, peace, peace out, peace out, Str uh, peace up, A-Town, no, uh, Usher, Usher, you know the song? Okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. So the builder might come by today. I don't know, that's what I heard. I heard something click off and like the light up there, it goes off, but then, well, it's not coming off now, but it came, okay, so it did that before, like where it shut off like that. And I don't know if that has like some like, hey, I'm getting too hot in here or what, I don't know. But last time it did that, it did come back on, but. So anyway, the builder might come by today and if he does, then I'll have to come back home because I need to show him things like, hey, the tile in that bathroom's not that great. The job is not that great on that tile. And a few other things that need to be fixed or could possibly be fixed. So I'll just see what he says, because he was supposed to have come out like 45 days after we moved in, and now it's been like two months, a little over two months. Um, so, and I gotta figure out what day we moved in, because oddly enough after all the anticipation and planning and excitement i don't know what day we moved in and i can't remember i know we looked it up like tried to figure it up but i'm like I, I literally don't remember what day we moved in but i know i've been enjoying living here so hey guys i'm fixing to go i love you love you too love you mom okay so wow Yes, I've turned out all the lights. Turn out the lights, the party is over. I don't even know how that song goes, but there is something that says like, turn out the lights, the party's over. All right, let me grab my paperwork, get in the car, and uh, get my tags done. You know how I was telling y'all that, where's my phone? I knew I had it. I was telling y'all that I wanted to put together like, uh sheets what am i trying to say i was trying to put together like okay here's my fireplace take a picture of the fireplace measure the fireplace so that i can design the fireplace and then like look on pinterest and stuff like that because anytime i swear this always happens and correct me if i'm wrong but whoa if like you say to somebody like hey um can you give me some like ideas to decorate my fireplace or can you give me some ideas on how to do whatever like any like decor recipes whatever and people goes look on Pinterest look on YouTube that's great that's fine I do I do but I also like just hearing from my friends and like them showing me pictures and stuff of their spaces so anyway it's not a pet peeve, but I'm just saying it's like, I, yeah, yeah, I tried that. 
Thanks. Okay, fix and lose, y'all. Hey y'all and welcome to Hot Chocolate Chat. Today I'm drinking a hot chocolate from Starbucks. I'm almost done with it because I've been sitting here talking to Catherine on Marco Polo. Today, I want to know, would you stand in line to get an autograph from somebody? Like if you're grown. For example, today at the Whataburger on Townies Boulevard in Mesquite, Texas, Michael Young, former Texas Ranger baseball player, is going to be there. So I told my sister, who is a baseball fan, that, you know, hey, he's going to be in town. Like, if you want to go by and get an autograph, take a picture or whatever, you know? about and there's like someone somewhere like at a book signing or they happen to be at the mall or whatever I'm like sure I'll go get an autograph and get a pic but like for me to intentionally like say to myself I'm putting this on my calendar I'm waking up early I'm gonna go get in line that's a whole nother story <laughs> you know what I'm saying so I was just trying to think to myself like who would I stand in line for like who would I intentionally go see and I'm on the struggle bus trying to find a seat because I can't I'm trying to think like who would I go see I heard Michael Young was going to be at the Whataburger I was like oh my sister would want to do that and I thought well maybe I'll go stand in line for her and get an autograph for her and when I say like do that for her it's like she's got three kids I ain't got nothing to do today so I could go do it for her but like that's not on my calendar like oh I'm gonna do that today but it like who like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm putting that on my calendar. Like, if the Kardashians are at the mall and I see them and there's no line, sure, I'll go say hi. But, like, if it's, I'm trying to think of somebody else that I'd be like, I'll wait in line. I thought of somebody, but it's kind of like, okay, here's the, here's the situation. We were in New York City. The Property Brothers were going to be at the Today Show. We were going to the Today Show. So, so it's kind of like I planned that, but, like, if they were going to be... Well, if they were going to be at Tiny Small, I might go. But I don't know that I'd rearrange my schedule for that. So anyway, that's what I want to talk about today. Who would you stand in line for to get an autograph or get a pic or whatever? Who would you make intentional time, putting it on your calendar, picking out an outfit, I'm going to go see them. Y'all, so I went home because the builder called and he said he was going to meet me there so we could kind of go over some stuff that needed fixing on the house. I don't know what this person in front of me is doing. But... So I brought all my stuff home. And then Marvin just texted me and said, I'm on my way home and I'm starving. And I'm like, oh, I forgot the salad's at work. Because we had gone to Jason's Deli for lunch today and I got the chicken club salad, which I love. And I love it so much, I bought two extras for dinner. One for Marvin and one for me, so I'm eating it twice. Isn't that nice? I got the salads and just had it for a quick second. Now I'm headed home so that Marvin doesn't starve. Never got the chance. And did I tell you guys that we might be going to, we've been invited, but I don't know how firm of an invitation it is, but we got invited to the Mesquite Rodeo tomorrow and we're going to go see Mark Chestnut. Won't that, doesn't that sound fun? We have not been to a concert in a hot minute. In fact, the last time that we went to a concert, let me grab you. The last time that we went to a concert was also at the Mesquite Rodeo. We don't go out as much anymore because we have both found that the smoke and just honestly the late night, because I guess I'm getting old, I don't know. But like, you know, the later night and the smoke and just crowded and people are, mm, it hasn't been as much fun. But at the rodeo, the company that I work with actually has a suite. So we'll be up in the suite. At least I think that's where it is. Sometimes that's not really the best seat, but I would much rather be in a suite watching a concert because you won't be around the smoke and you won't be around the crowds and the drunk people and stuff and just makes it fun for me. So I think that's what we're doing tomorrow night. Hey y'all, it is now 10.41. In case you were wondering what time it was um, local in Dallas right now as I'm filming and I'm about to go to bed. It's the weekend, so I don't feel like, you know how I was saying I was trying to get in bed by 10, 15? Well, not tonight because I am um, editing some 
vlogs and I just posted two, not one, but two new vlogs and my giveaway went live. So I already have some entries. So I'm actually kind of excited about that because uh, I have done other giveaways before and had um, just a few entries. So the more the merrier. Uh, of course it was better odds with less people, but um, this is a really good giveaway. It's uh, sponsored by Rubbermaid. Their Brilliance Collection, which I, I actually owned before. They even approached me about doing a giveaway. So they sent me some more products and I was like, <sighs> cause remember I showed you guys the other day, it was the spaghetti container. I know, I mean, I guess that's what age am I? I'm at the age where I get excited about a spaghetti container, I guess adulting. But uh, so anyway, I'm excited that people are, are interested in the giveaway and participating in it. And so yeah. I got two videos edited and uploaded and I've got one more almost ready to go and I'll do that, finish that in the morning and do some more posting for wing moms, but I'm excited. So I'm going to go ahead and say good night and I, cause I need to get some rest. I'm feeling a little tired. I feel like I'm trying to get a cold uh, and I don't really want one. <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> Pass me by. And I just feel like I need to get some rest. And my low battery light just came on. So that's just another sign from God that I need to end this video. Don't forget guys to be kind to others and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.